Alright guys, today I've got another install video for you on installing Eclipse ROM on your Galaxy S4. Um, this is the Verizon Edition as usual and um, what I'm showing you how to install is basically a stock ROM so it's going to be running TouchWiz but super customized um, so you'll still have all your, your great features of the Galaxy S4 with all the cool customization as well. Um, Eclipse ROM is made by a developer called Nitroglycerin who is awesome, awesome, awesome at creating really cool ROMs. So first let's go ahead and get into this. Um, you guys are going to want to have some kind of um, root utility installed on your device like right here. Sorry guys, let me go back out here. Like right here, this is Super Sue. You're going to want to have a recovery installed. I use Goob Manager to install uh, Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, whichever. I have it already installed. I'm not going to actually go ahead and install it, so I'm just going to reboot to recovery and hit yes. Now, it is very important, two things, that you already have the uh, ROM downloaded and on your phone somewhere where you know where it's at. Two, you have good battery life on your device so you can make an Android backup and flash this ROM without your phone dying on you and uh, so let's go ahead and get into this so first thing you're gonna do is go in here highlight everything and whoop go back here highlight everything and swipe across to make an Android backup I'm not doing that right now just showing you how because I have a backup right here already made just from a couple days ago so next you're gonna do is go into wipes and then all you got to do is just swipe across and it will wipe out your phone and get it all set up for flashing your ROM. We can go back again, go back again, go to installs, go find your ROM. Mine's on my SD card if I can find it and it should be right here. And this is the ROM Eclipse S4 TouchWiz version 1.0. This was just released, well, today actually, this morning. So this is very new, um, very cool, should have absolutely no bugs in it because it's based on stock, so there surely shouldn't be any issues. If there is though, Nitroglycerin is awesome, I'm sure he will update it. So click on it and then flash it. Now this does come with inverted Google applications, which is really cool, built into it. So everything in those Google applications that was white is now black and the lettering that was black is now white. Um, it's a very cool look, really dark look, but really cool looking. Um, so that's very awesome. This also has um, a custom kernel built into it and I think it should have the ROM control tool to control that kernel built into it which is an app and I will show you guys when this thing boots up. Also just like Eclipse always does and Nitroclus always does, he says right here mounting your system like a horse which I absolutely love that in there. I think it's hilarious. Uh, so let's let this install and I will uh, finish up and we'll get this done. Alright here we go everything is uh, done all we have to do is hit reboot system and I want to go ahead and see just to see if he has a custom boot animation because it's the thing I do mm. so let's go ahead and see what we have on boot up here now first boot up like I tell everybody could take up to 10 minutes if it goes more than that there's probably something wrong and you're gonna need to get into recovery and restore your Android backup your download was bad your install something was goofed up so just be aware of that looks like we have a stock Samsung boot animation nothing too exciting so I'm gonna let this boot and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through settings and then I'm gonna show you guys the ROM so hang on okay here we go this is Eclipse ROM slash TouchWiz whatever you wanna call it um, he's got us with the new wallpaper that got released which is pretty cool like Sunbeam or something like that I like um, that's very very neat let's go ahead and check our pull downs so here we go now we've got um, all of our little toggles on here and it looks like he's got a bunch of extra cool toggles in here um, I like the coloring very very nice let's go ahead and see what he's got here and the same kind of setup this white and this blue yeah this is I, I like this a lot um, he's got all the toggles in there the battery saver everything um, shoot just about everything in there uh, even your Wi-Fi hotspot this does come pre-set up with the high Wi-Fi hotspot already hacked so you can use it for free um, it does use up your data plan but it is what it is um, you can go ahead and come in here and rearrange your toggles so that's very cool um, let's go back out let's, let's go check out settings 
so even this is very much themed um, standard settings there let's see what we have here standard just kind of themed to the way he likes it um, for Eclipse uh, let's see there's good and all this looks pretty normal just very much themed like um, AOSP but still it's based off stock so like I say you keep all your features um, let's go ahead and see what he's got in here uh, basic stock applications um, let's check our app drawer so now I know some of these are AOS, AOSP like the clock I think and the calculator is AOSP um, versus what was on the phone originally most of the other apps are, are kept in here you have your super user obviously for root access um, and some widgets and whatnot so very very slick very smooth I do like this little earth it looks kinda different to me but let's see what else is on here pretty standard it looks like he did remove a couple of the applications that come stock with it some of the bloat looking more stuff but you can still download any of those I think from the uh, Play Store right up here so really not a big deal um, but let me go ahead and show you guys some of these inverted applications um, let's see if I can get to one here I think keep is inverted now nah, there's got to be a way to get in without let's check out the phone really quick so yeah this is again is very much like AOSP um, people same kind of look right there um, I think I can go to YouTube without an account not now yeah there we go so here you go this is that inverted look um, you can see it's very dark looking um, instead of having white around videos and stuff that's how all the Google applications are going to look. I think they look really cool like that. Um, a really neat setup. I think music you can do it also with. Not now. Yeah, so you can see again, same kind of uh, setup for it. So very, very cool. Definitely love the inverted look. Um, this thing's really sweet. I really like the theme on it. The toggles, the look is very, very cool. Very AOSP, but still very touch whiz. So there you go, guys. That is my review. Uh, big thanks to Nitroglycerin for putting this together. This is really cool. I like it a lot. Um, as always, guys, please check me up right here by my thumb at rootjunkie.com. Lots of great videos and information on my site. Tons of great stuff. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there. Please check me out. I'm always on there talking to people. And that's it. Hope you guys like this little review, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.